Is the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b, Earth 2.0? Since its discovery, the celestial body has been suspected of hiding an intriguing secret. It could be astonishingly similar to our home planet and even harbor life. For a long time, Proxima Centauri b has hidden its true face from us. But now, the James Webb Telescope is taking aim at the alien world to crack the cosmic puzzle. Particularly intriguing, the researchers have already received a mysterious signal from the Proxima Centauri system, which suggests a groundbreaking hypothesis. We are not alone in the universe. Quiz question. How many planets are there? Eight or nine, because we're still counting Pluto? Well, not quite because we mustn't forget one thing. There are also countless planetary worlds outside our home system. We currently know of 5,566 exoplanets in 4,278 different systems. And a quick reminder, an exoplanet is a planet that orbits a star other than the Sun. However, the more than 5,000 celestial bodies detected are only the microscopic tip of the galactic iceberg. Scientists estimate that there are up to 50 billion more planets, and that's just in the Milky Way, mind you. And if we now consider that our home galaxy is just one of billions of other galaxies in the cosmos, a fundamental question arises. Is it even possible, given the exuberant abundance of the universe, that the Earth is the only celestial body that harbors life? Many experts answer what is probably the biggest question in human history with a resounding no and it is only a matter of time before we encounter our extraterrestrial neighbors for the first time. And true to the motto, why wander far when the extraterrestrial is so close? It could be that the next alien civilization is practically slumbering right under our terrestrial noses. No other known exoplanet comes as close to our Earth as Proxima Centauri b. The distance between us and this alien world is just 4.2 light years. And to be honest, what is 4.2 light years? Well, that's 37.84 trillion kilometers. With our current means, it would take 6,300 years to cover this enormous distance. But fortunately, mankind has now put itself in the comfortable position of being able to explore the mysteries of space without having to leave its own home planet. And in fact, we have known about the existence of the closest exoplanet to Earth since 2016. However, Proxima Centauri b does not orbit the epitomous host star in the constellation Centaur alone. It is orbited by at least two other planets. But how do you even discover a celestial body that is so far away from us? Are the James Webb telescopes of our time really so powerful that they can directly detect and capture images of alien worlds? Well, not quite. In truth, indirect detection methods have turned out to be the greatest guarantee of success. First and foremost is the transit method, in which a planet reveals its existence by changing the brightness of its parent star as it passes by. In the case of Proxima Centauri b, however, it was the radial velocity method that revealed the presence of the planet. Put simply, this detection principle works as follows. A star attracts its planet with its gravity, which therefore orbits it. Conversely, the planet also exerts a tiny gravitational influence on the star, causing it to wobble or wobble minimally. And although this star dance sometimes only covers a few centimeters, it is enough to tell the experts that our space maps need a new update. Is Proxima Centauri b Earth 2.0? In order to be included in the list of potentially life-friendly celestial bodies, a basic requirement must be met. The planet must be located within the habitable zone. This means that it orbits its star at a distance that allows water to exist on it in a permanently liquid form. However, this is by no means the end of the story. Other factors, such as the atmospheric composition of the planet or the radiation of the host star, can thwart the development of life despite all the favorable conditions. So let's take a look at the situation in the case of Proxima Centauri b. As mentioned in 2016, the mass of the celestial body is estimated at 1.17 Earth masses. It is therefore considered an Earth-like exoplanet. But be careful, the term Earth-like only describes rocky planets with a solid surface, 
without making any statements about their habitability. Our Earth is known to take 365 days to orbit the Sun once, but Proxima Centauri b only takes just over 11 days. Consequently, the distance between the exoplanet and its central star is also significantly smaller. While the average distance between the Sun and Earth is around 150 million kilometers, Proxima Centauri b orbits its star at a distance of just 7 million kilometers. In view of this constellation, it seems reasonable to assume that it must be scorching hot on the planet's surface. But this is not the case. While our Sun is a yellow dwarf, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf whose mass is only about 12% of the mass of the Sun. However, the distance and the nature of the host star are not the only points in which the Proxima Centauri system differs significantly from ours. The data collected so far indicates that the exoplanet has a bound rotation, which means that it always presents one and the same side to its central star. Consequently, the celestial body is divided into a freezing cold night side and a significantly hotter day side. A circumstance that nips any thought of potential habitability in the bud? Well, not necessarily, because between these two zones of extremes, there could be a narrow strip that offers life-friendly conditions. And in fact, the sharp contrast could even have a positive influence on the conditions in the twilight zone. The experts' simulations have shown that the habitable area could draw its supply of liquid water from the glaciers on the nice side. These would melt near the twilight zone and thus feed the lakes and rivers. And what about temperature? Well, the scientists calculated an equilibrium temperature of minus 39 degrees Celsius. To put this in context, the equilibrium temperature is the temperature that sets itself in a system after a sufficiently long period of time. However, this does not mean that the equilibrium temperature necessarily corresponds to the surface temperature of Proxima Centauri b. This is because the planet has an atmosphere. Because if the planet has an atmosphere, this can be significantly higher as a result of the greenhouse effect, a fact that our planet can also tell us a thing or two about. Without an atmosphere, the equilibrium temperature of our home planet would be minus 18 degrees Celsius. Is there life on Proxima Centauri b? Well, this question, or more precisely, the question of the existence of liquid water depends on several parameters that have not yet been conclusively investigated. Assuming the right orbit and a favorable atmospheric composition, a 2017 simulation came to the conclusion that the cool water in the distant world could ripple merrily along. However, the question of the exoplanet's habitability is still hotly disputed among researchers. This is because the turbulent activities of the parent star could put an end to the development of life. A few years ago, researchers at the University of Colorado observed something that eclipsed everything known. It has long been known that our Sun regularly draws attention to itself with bursts of radiation, known as flares. However, what the experts saw flare up on Proxima Centauri was 100 times stronger than any solar flare observed to date. Within a few seconds, the star increased its ultraviolet radiation by a factor of 14,000. And indeed, the eruptions that are not only significantly more intense than in our home system, but also much more numerous. Consequently, it can be assumed that the extreme radiation will destroy the entire atmosphere of Proxima Centauri b over time, thus destroying any chance of life developing. But if the exoplanet had a social media account, the entry for life relationship would still read, it's complicated. Because there is a scenario in which the celestial body does not lose its atmosphere to space. To do this, it needs a liquid core that forms a stable magnetic field and thus blocks the dangerous radiation from the host star. In this way, the oxygen and water molecules could be kept on the planet. There is also the theory that the planet originally formed at a greater distance from its host star and was only gravitationally captured later. It is also conceivable that there was once 10 times more water on Proxima Centauri b than on Earth. And even if the massive radiation has robbed 90% of the water, there would still be enough today for a vast ocean covering large parts of the planet's surface. But as you can already imagine, the water temperature would only be moderate in the narrow twilight zones 
On the night side, the water would be permanently frozen, while on the day side, it would be boiling hot. Scientists have received a mysterious signal from Proxima Centauri. Scientists have received a mysterious signal from Proxima Centauri. Launched by Stephen Hawking and others in 2015, the Breakthrough Listen Project is dedicated to one of the most exciting tasks of all. Researchers are searching the fastness of space for traces of extraterrestrial life. And the basic principle is, if there are other highly developed civilizations out there, they must also leave a technical footprint. And lo and behold, in 2020, astronomers captured a potential radio signal from the Proxima Centauri system, which was immediately suspected of being the signature of a hidden alien race. However, the subsequent analysis painted a rather sobering picture for all alien enthusiasts. The signal, dubbed BLC-1, ultimately had a terrestrial origin and was created by the distortion of terrestrial radio signals. As a result, the mysterious WOW signal from 1977 remains the most promising candidate when it comes to the question of extraterrestrial messages. Now astronomers are pinning their hopes on the use of the revolutionary James Webb Telescope. After all, the most powerful space telescope of all time is not only intended to detect the first luminous objects and galaxies in the universe, but also to study exoplanets and their atmospheres. With its high resolution, could Webb perhaps even observe Proxima Centauri b directly? After all, the planet is practically on our doorstep. Well, unfortunately, there is a big problem here. The celestial body orbits its star so closely that it can hardly be distinguished from it. However, scientists are currently trying to find some tricks and lucky circumstances that will allow them to take a closer look at the alien world using spectrography. Please subscribe now and never miss a new video again.